Hi YouTube, I am going to do a sew along for Butterwick, Butterwick Pattern 6213. And I'm going to do the view B, but I'm going to use the zipper from view A. Okay, what I have to be concerned with on this pattern just looking at the measurements. The measurements seem to be okay. I'm going to cut a bigger um, pattern for the hips, a size bigger. And the arm, I think the arm is okay, but um, I'm going to have to double check my arm measurement, the top arm measurement to see if um, that's okay. If not, I think I'll just go up a size on the arm too when I double check that. Now looking at this pattern, see the pockets are kind of structured. They're not sa really saggy. So therefore, they said to use a moderate knit. So I'm going to use a um, a knit that has, I guess it's a modern knit, it has some stretch, it has a lot of stretch to it. Um, when I did the stretch test, you know, you double, you double it, usually I do it on the fold, and you, it's for it, you put your um, material fabric here, then you see if it stretches to that, that part. Okay, so if you start it here, then you pull it and see how far it stretches. Now, if it stretches all the way over here, you got too much stretch. And having too much stretch can be just as bad as having too little stretch. Because this, I know this because I did a, I was doing a dress for Jill Scott concert. And I used a very stretchable material and I never got that neck right. That neck was never never right. Now a turtleneck, if it was turtleneck, I don't think it would matter too much. Um, but this neck is it's it's gonna give you some problems if you have too much stretch. Um, yeah so make sure because when I um I already iron my I already prep my fabric, I iron my fabric, um although this is the type of fabric that doesn't um um have a lot of wrinkles in it and I Got the pattern pieces, made sure I got B, um, but I'm going to have to do A zipper, but you know, made sure I got B, double check my pattern pieces. Now some of the pattern pieces is cut one on the, um, on, on a single layer of fabric. When you do that, you got to make sure you cut them, if you cut both of them um, face, face up. Don't cut one face down and one face up. It's going to throw you off. Or if cut, just cut them face up. Make sure you cut them both face up. That, because I had, I had problems once because I thought I cut one face. I just made sure I cut everything face. In the same direction, this is, I got this three yards from Savers. This was $3.99. I'm using this to see how this pattern really looks because remember, um, I think I said on another video, I'm kind of unsure of this pattern. I'm kind of unsure of how it's going to look how it's going to fit. Um, so I am going to use a this fabric to do my first one. This isn't really a prototype. I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna write on it and do directions, you know, if I would and change the um, but it's one of those it's, it's the fabric in which um, if it if it messes up I'm not too concerned about it. I did tissue fit on Tina um, using the very small pins and that worked out well um, so I know it's going to fit um, I know I might have to um, do the arms a little bit but I'll, I'll, I'll think about that but right now I am going to lay out my fabric I'm going to use pattern weights in my um, rotary cutter and cut my pieces then after I cut my pieces I am I am going to um, start probably on the first part so I'll be back 
once my pieces are cut and I've started, I will come back to let everyone know where I'm at. Again, this is going to be a sew along for six, two, one, three. Um, okay, you two, bye.